Hey everybody, my name is Zuli. I'm a product marketer here at Medium. And today I'm going to show you how you can add up to five topics on your story to help our recommendation system get your story in front of readers who are most likely to be interested in that story. Not only does using topics help our recommendation system, but over half a million monthly readers come to the topic pages, which are right here, as you can see, just to browse and look for stories that are relevant and timely in the topics that they're interested in. In short, using the topics is really important. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So here we are on just an example story. I'm going to show you that when you go to the publish page, here's the box where you can start adding topics. You can add up to five. Just start typing whatever topic you think your story is about, like say cats, and it'll start auto populating. The number you see next to each topic here is the number of stories that have been published in that topic before on the entire lifetime of medium. So in the 12 years that we've been in business, uh, we've had 1,700 stories that have been categorized under the topic cats and things. Cats, meanwhile, has 45,000 stories in that topic. So every topic that you use is going to have what we call our topic page, which you can see right here. I'm using cats as an example because I love cats. So here you can see a little bit more information about this particular topic. You can see that 2,000 people follow the cats topic, 45,000 45, stories, as we saw earlier. And you can also see some related topics up here. So pets, life, dogs, love, funny, kittens, some of the usual suspects up here. You can also see some stories that Medium recommends in that topic. The recommended stories are typically stories that are finding their audience, that are getting reads, that readers are enjoying, clapping, highlighting, commenting. So this is a pretty good representation of the stories that our readers love to read about cats. One thing that you're looking for, because tags help our recommendation system understand what your story is about and who's most likely to be interested in it, a good practice to keep in mind is to look for topics that have a larger number of followers than a small number of followers. So for example, if we go to the cats and things topic here, this only has 48 followers. So a very small number compared to cats. And if we go to pets, pets is larger still over 200,000 followers. The flip side of that is that you want to be accurate. So let's say that you look at the tech tag and you see, wow, technology has a million followers on Medium. I should use the tech tag on my story about cats. This is not a great idea because what that's going to do is tell our system, oh, we should show this story to readers who are interested in tech. And the readers who are interested in tech are looking for tech stories, not cat stories. Ultimately, you want to aim for a large number of readers, but readers who you think are going to be a good fit for that story. And if you have to choose between popularity versus accuracy, always choose accuracy when you're on when you're using topics. Another good idea is to read stories in the topic that you are thinking about using. So this just gives you a really good idea of the kind of stories that your readers will enjoy reading if you're thinking about writing about cats, for example. So here on the cats topic page, I can see that it's a lot of personal stories about why people love their cats, funny encounters with cats, um, just some humor, some love, some personality. I'm seeing less stories that are like, here are five great cat treats, uh, here are two cat toys. Uh, here's how to find a cat. It's a lot of personal essays. So that's, I can see from looking at this page, that that's the kind of thing that medium readers currently are referring to read about cats. So back to my test story, just to show you what I would do if I were writing a story about cats. I would use cats as my tag. I would add pets, maybe pets and animals, life, just to try to reach a little bit of a broader audience here. And if you're ever struggling for an idea for what topic could be a good fit for your story, go back to that main one that you think of and look for a topic from these related topics here. So I think humor could be a good fit for my hilarious cat story that you're about to read. In summary, here's how to best add topics for your story. First, use our explore topics page to land on one that you think could be a good fit and feel free to use our search bar like cat to see what comes up. Read in this topic page to get a sense of the kind of stories that readers enjoy. You can also see what kind of publications crop up that are about this topic if you're interested in submitting your story to a publication. Use up to all five. Always use five. There's no reason not to. And look for ones that are 
popular with readers that not only have plenty of followers, but that you can see have engagement. So these stories are getting plenty of claps, plenty of responses from readers who are enjoying these stories. That being said, if you ever have to choose between the popularity of a topic and an accuracy about it fitting your story, pick an accurate one, not the popular one. And finally, if you're at a loss for which five to use, rely on these related ones here. This will get you a long way because these are the ones that our system has already categorized as stories that are frequently published using a selection of these five together. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions about how to use topics, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody!